can everything really be put on ice for three months while the Tory party wrestles with its soul and finds a new leader? Uh, I'm not convinced it'll go on that long. I think um, the Tories will move to get rid of Boris Johnson uh, from Downing Street very quickly. I think they have to because um, it's just such a mess. It's so unedifying. I, I actually think the best thing to happen could be a general election because the Tories have known about this guy. They've known exactly what he's like for many, many years. So did the voters, though. Well, they did, but we've seen the last number of months of you know, crisis after crisis, a story after story, and they fail to move on. I mean, they have to do it now. I think a general election, though, uh, is necessary, and let's get a new government and uh, maybe some grown-ups in there. Uh, there is the protocol legislation, which is due back in the Commons, I think, next week, isn't it? Mm. What's likely to happen with that, would you say? Well, it's in theory, it's coming next week. We'll see. I'm not sure this government will be too confident in the whipping operation right now to try and put a controversial bill like that uh, to the Commons next week. So I think that could end up not happening next week. Um, um, again, it's just more crisis because they can't deliver anything. And that's why it, it, it really isn't feasible for them to keep them in place for that length of time. Now, um, I mean, you know lots of the Tory MPs, you know uh, perhaps the runners and riders who, who might be in a position to uh, contest the leadership. If they do go to a leadership election amongst the membership, there is a tendency for candidates to tack to the right to look for support from the ERG, for instance, and that could be a problem. It could be, and I think that the whole point is I think they have to learn the lessons of the past number of years. Brexit has been the problem here. It's created all this instability and it is destroying the Tory party. Um, so my view would be they should go for somebody a bit more stable after all of the chaos, but... Uh, they not be taking my advice anytime soon. I want Keir Starmer to be Prime Minister as soon as possible. OK, and then there is the whole question of how this impacts on politics in Northern Ireland. The Assembly obviously isn't working, the Executive isn't working, and there is a deadline coming up. There is, but deadlines are fairly uh, elastic in, in Northern Irish politics. But the most important thing I think we have to realise is this is up to Geoffrey Donaldson. Geoffrey Donaldson could go back into government tomorrow morning. He could begin dealing with the cost of living crisis, the waiting list in the health service. But he doesn't, you know, even though he knows that the debate about the protocol is between the British government and the European Commission. It doesn't really matter what happens in the Northern Ireland Assembly, but the waiting lists are still getting longer and people are still starving. And, you know, that's a responsibility that he has to step up and go in and do the job he's elected to do. OK, and finally, uh, we have a new Northern Secretary announced, a man, uh, not exactly a household name, I think, uh, either in the north or the south of Ireland. Uh, have you had any contact with him? Well, I spoke to him today, uh, this evening. I, I had spoken to him before. Uh, we'll see. I mean, the reality is he's not going to be there very long. I don't know whether he should spend too much time getting to know the place because uh, I think we're going to have a brand new government, uh, hopefully after a general election of a Labour government. OK, uh, to continue with this legislation that they're going through the House next week. It should be cancelled. We shouldn't be debating it. It's, 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 it's a unilateral action on an international agreement and it needs to be stopped. So the best way to do that, I think, is to have a, a general election and have a new government.